Chest and hello, today guys we came up with a list of 7 weird things that will definitely surprise Polish people about the states. Alright, so number 1 on this list is tax. This is something that definitely surprised my Polish girlfriend here, is that when she would go and go to the store and pick something up and then go to pay, and then you, you know, you see the sticker price and then you go to pay and it's something different. That's not the price different. that you actually pay. Okay, so whenever you go to the store, and you decide to pick an item from the shelf and you see a price tag this is not the price you're gonna pay whenever you go to the cashier um, there is always this tax added actually it's not only about grocery stores I think it's everywhere in the US it doesn't only apply to grocery stores or stores in general I think it's also about hotels and uh, places yeah. like that yeah I know like I actually used to work at a hotel and whenever someone would go to pay um, especially if they were from like Canada or Europe. Yeah, but I know in Canada they do it as well. So I, I don't know why, but um, especially Europeans, they would they would get so mad at me because they would go to pay and then I tell them the final price and then they would be so upset because they think I'm like trying to scam them or something. Yeah, even if it's a few cents more, so it's not a big deal. But anyways, I mean, in Poland, well, people just like to pay the price that they yeah. see on the price tag. Well, the difficult thing actually at the hotel was like, for instance, if if it was like $85 a night and then after taxes and they would go to pay, it would be like $98. Yeah, so it makes a difference. That's so, why, you know, definitely this is something that Polish people and I guess Europeans in general would not like about the state. Oh yeah, speaking briefly of states, this is going to be a bonus one, but pretty much between different states there's different laws and regulations for different things some are a little more conservative some are more liberal and you know with that there's more or less laws in different states so that's another thing that's pretty weird that i think most europeans and polish people would find uh, at least confusing for sure i mean um, we can even give an example one example i mean there are so many but this one is actually good in poland when you see a car the plate is actually in the front and at the back of the car. Mm -hmm. In the States, it differs. Yeah. Like, like in Maryland, the one I live, you have to have a plate, a license plate at the front and back of your car. But then if I go up into PA or Pennsylvania, they only require one in the back. So it's just, it's a weird law. And there's so many different weird laws uh, in between the States too. Okay, so moving on to number two, and that is when you go to pay with a card, like let's just say you're in a restaurant or something, you give the waiter or waitress your card and then they go off with it and they go to pay elsewhere i guess um instead of in poland they go and they bring their um what terminal are those? yeah they bring terminal. yeah they bring their terminals straight to you and show you the direct price and then you just insert your card there and so you're in control of your card in fact mm -hmm. and in the states you don't really know what's going on because they disappear for like a minute yeah you don't know if they actually take a picture of your credit card or debit yeah. card, you don't know what's happening with that. Yeah, so it's it's super sketchy and it was kind of, um, you could almost say shocking for me whenever I came back to the States that you do that. It's just, it's such a bad process. It shouldn't be like that. So I mean, yeah. this is at least one thing Poland is really better at yeah. compared to the States. All right, so the third one on this list that would definitely surprise a Polish person is that when you go out to a grocery store, or for instance, Walmart, like our biggest brand, they have pharmacies and you can pretty much buy anything over the counter there. Actually, you can even buy guns in Walmart or some grocery stores. You can just buy your guns and ammo as you're buying your groceries and stuff. Yeah, so that, that's shocking. I mean, guns, but I mean, they're not accepted in Poland. So, I mean, this is like a different story. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to buying medicine, in Poland, you can get some cheap stuff which is not necessarily working too good, uh, it's not that efficient. Um, you can get some in a grocery store, but if you want, mm -hmm. you know, some strong medicine, you have to go to a pharmacy. And in the US, you can actually go to a grocery store and there's aisles, like, you know, a couple of aisles, mm -hmm. you know, of medicine, like for anything that you yeah. need. Okay, so number four on this list is people don't really respect the rules of the road. And it's not really the laws, it's mainly just the rules and how people should be respecting each other when they're driving. For instance, you're supposed to be moving over when you're in the passing lane on the highway if you're not passing anyone. Here in the States, sometimes people aren't passing people at all or they're just sitting and cruising in that lane the entire ride 
and it's really annoying because people won't move over at all so actually i find myself driving in the right lane the non-passing lane and passing cars it's really They're driving on the left lane yeah so i mean and it's actually weird because in the states you see those cars like uh driving through the highway for example and they have like the same distance between mm -hmm. each other and it's the same pace of driving yeah so it's super uh boring super annoying and i guess a lot of poles would be just mad at this fact yeah. because we like like more aggressive driving i think yeah for instance like when we're driving even on the highway and there's two cars that are just going right next to each other the one is in the passing lane and they're not even moving at all they're just going at the same speed and it's just it's super annoying and most polish people i'm sure would find that surprising about the states but it's not about driving like whenever um you're in poland for example and you want to cross the street you're like walking right and you want to cross the street and there is a red light you respect the law i mean you wait for the red light to turn into the green one so you can like you know go across the street you're talking about walking walking Uh -huh. In the States, people don't even look at that. There is like different type of um, signal signalization. Uh -huh. Like, you know, we have lights, you guys yeah. have like a hand or something. Yeah. And people don't really look at that. I mean, they don't care if you're allowed to cross the street or not. They're just doing that regardless. And the best example of that was in New York City. Uh, whenever we were visiting it last year, people were like, walking you know see this is something street. this is something i don't really care about because like i don't think it's a big deal and in I poland remember, it is yeah you really want to respect the law in poland i know and i remember being in warsaw and i'm like basically tugging her hand across like trying to go across the road and she was like halted there i'm like you know what are you doing there's no cars going but the light was still red for pedestrians and stuff So I don't know. I'm used to walking across the street. Everyone in the states is, and in fact, you can walk in front of a police officer. Yeah, in the so street that, that was no shocking for me because, uh, I mean, I I just don't get it how drivers do not get mad at this fact because they have to be really no careful one walks not here. to you know run somebody over. No one walks here, and everyone's so large that they don't walk. So. <laughs> It's not really a big thing. All right, so the fifth weird thing about the states that would surprise a Polish person is that even people with bad housing or like trailer parks or rundown houses sometimes still own very nice and fancy cars. And I guess it's basically just like car companies willing to give out loans to most people who you know they think they can make any money off so they're just gonna give them a nice car that they can pretty much loan yeah this was actually shocking to me because in poland usually a family owns like one to two cars mm. max i mean if you're wealthy you have more than that mm. okay so whenever we were driving through some cities and towns in the states i was actually shocked because some of the houses that we were passing by were so destroyed were mm -hmm. so um run down. run down you can still see these cars basically parked under their garage and i mean some of these cars are like mustangs camaros and they're pretty fancy cars so so you have a contrast very expensive fancy cars versus run down houses that are like i mean yeah people wouldn't want to live in them i believe i mean I, I, it's probably mainly just people trying to like you know boast or act like they have a lot of money or something i don't know it's probably on the line so that's surprising like that. because i think in poland people put money into their houses mm -hmm. first or their apartments mm -hmm. and then they think about like having a fancy car but mm -hmm. i mean the culture of driving is kind of different in the u.s in the u.s it's really important to have a car mm -hmm. in poland we have public transportation so it's not that complicated i mean it's not yeah. big of an issue all right so the sixth one on this list is when you're at the gas station and you're paying at the pump versus in poland you pump your gas and then you pay at the cashier actually i think this is a surprising one about poland because what if the person goes to pump their gas and then they go up to the cashier after they're done pumping and they don't have the money is your car repossessed can you do they take the keys see that's the difference that's, in, that's the difference don't have an between poland that. and us because you guys want to have everything like on your debit card in poland people still feel like you know mm -hmm. 
having cash in your pockets mm. is actually more important than having a debit card. At least that's my own personal experience. I know a lot of people who prefer cash over uh, debit card. Even you know the thing that we just can't buy some stuff sometimes because they can't accept my debit card mm. here. I mean, yeah. and then I'm just if I don't have cash, I'm just screwed over because I can't purchase anything. Mm -hmm. So it's you know better to have cash just in case right but yeah when it comes to gas stations um it's definitely surprising for me because um it's basically like i don't know to me it was a symbol of americans being so lazy that they don't even want to walk to the store and pay for the gas instead they can even you know sit in the car and just pay it's like a drive through on a gas station it's just convenience. Oh, bonus one, actually. Uh, there's a drive through for anything. drive through pharmacy, drive through bank, drive through uh, alcohol, drive through. I'm not even talking about fast foods because yeah, it's obvious. Not even ever, fast Whenever. Yeah. And it's just, anything. you can do drive through. I mean, no wonder Americans yeah. struggle with obesity here. All right, so the last one on this list is fencing around houses. This is actually not really that common here as most people would believe is like the white picket fence type of stuff right i mean what's your what's your thought on that that's surprising in poland hardly ever you see yeah uh, like a neighborhood without fencing this yeah. is this is like this is the fact in that the surprised US, me in the u.s it's actually shocking if you see a house which has a fence around it mm -hmm. Um, and I mean, I'm always asking questions, even, you know, to his family. How can you guys assess where is, like, the end of your property? We don't yeah, really like care, and there's just some bushes that kind of said, and then most of our neighbors actually are walking through our lawn sometimes, or I actually think there's a lady out there right now. Uh, mowing the grass. Yeah, mowing, like, <laughs> part of our lawn, and... The neighbor's dogs will go out on our lawn, like, we don't really care. We're not really too big into That's it. That's the thing in Poland, neighbors, I mean, I know cases, neighbors would fight mm -hmm. over, like, one inch of, of the property. They would be, like, fighting, you know, like, cats and dogs. Yeah, that's just petty. At least with my family, we don't really care about our lawn a whole lot. But I think that kind of contradicts a lot of um, Americans, though, because a lot of Americans are, like, watering the grass and mowing it every, like, two that's, days like our neighbor here that's another thing about the state having a car that's super important for americans and then having their like lawn which is like kept super nicely mm -hmm. and i mean it's neat and nicely watered cut. and watered that. green you know almost looks like a carpet like a rug yeah that's super important for, for americans to do that too so i mean which is nice i mean at least you have much nicer lawns here in in the states compared to like you know Polish properties I think yeah maybe I don't know all right guys so that's actually it for this list and if you like this video and you like the collaboration here then just let me know down below and if you're interested in these types of videos then just check out some of my other videos on my channel where you can find American to Polish related type of content here on YouTube thank you guys so much for watching Dziękuję i do widzenia